One side on. Um, I did a bit of put this on. It was late at night um, on Tuesday. So there's several methods of putting artwork on. It seems it seems to be there's a wet method and a dry method. Now I've never done this before. I think it's actually come out okay. Uh, but this was the dry method. Now if I go real close, you just see there is a couple of bubbles, um, which is a little unfortunate. But again, I've never done it before. I'm not a professional graphic vinyl applier um, never done it before so what we're going to do this side is I ripped this off um, the other night so we prepped up marked up where it's going to go um, so I've measured it exactly how the original art was um, yeah so I'm basically going exactly where it was before so they are exactly in line both sides so this method we're going to go with uh, some of this um, rapid tank so I got this off of eBay in the UK. Um, there is some stuff I believe in the States as well that people use. Um, but we're gonna give this a go. Um, I'm gonna do half and half. So I'm gonna basically peel this back, lay the graphic over, spray the cabinet, spray the artwork. And then I bought this squeegee, 3M squeegee. And we're gonna try and put it on and not have any bubbles or creases or messing it up. So I've never done this before. Um, again, so we've done one side dry, we're doing this side wet, and then providing how that works out, we'll determine how we're gonna do junior. Right, so let's dump you up on the uh, tripod. Uh, we're gonna do this together, we're gonna experience it for the first time. Um, I'm not gonna do it in real time, so it'll probably take forever, so I'm gonna put it on um, time lapse, so you can just kind of see it all happening. Um, as we go, so I shall catch you in a sec. Trying to cry away the flame. Just give me an update. Well, that went on so much better with the wet method 100% no bubbles but we do have a slight issue and this is in, this is no way due to the wet method this is me pulling the vinyl off of the backing I have accidentally put a few little creases in now this is where I was pulling it from the backing obviously trying to pull it it's got gone to a point 
and now that's that's unfortunate that's just my you know inexperience but as you can see there's no bubbles no creases nothing else on there and it is infinitely better than what it was before so I, mean, I can live with that i mean it's my game i'm not worried there's no one there look this where i've tried to peel it off the back in so not perfect you know i'd say you know nine out of ten no bubbles this side this side no creases funnily enough i didn't actually manage to crease this one when i pulled it off the back in but yeah this one's got a few tiny tiny little bubbles you see it over here again just a very few tiny little bubbles here but i can't do nothing about that now but to be honest with you guys i'm happy with it it's not a professional job i'm not a professional graphic applier so for me you know just uh you know, I'm happy, I'm, I'm happy with it. It's not, I'm not gonna lose any sleep over a couple of little creases, a couple of bumps. I mean, the game's got enough bumps and scuffs and dents. It's not a, you know, we're not going for a perfect restoration here. We're going for just a general tidy up um, and just make it look a little bit more presentable than what it was. So I'm really happy with that. So 100% um, we'll be doing the uh, junior with the wet method, definitely. It went a lot, a lot easier. Um, obviously which dry once you stuck it on it's quite hard to pull it off and um, yeah so when we use the wet method like I say it goes on real nice and easy there's a nice big bubble here I managed to bring it right out to the side and it all squirted out the side so this is definitely the way to go rapid tack and a squeegee is definitely the best method to use I just need to be a little bit more careful with the um, removing it at the back end stir step is to try getting the uh, team holding on. So we've obviously got it laid down. I'm going to try and rip all this chips and damaged edging off. We're also going to paint the bottom with some satin black paint. So yeah, we're going to tidy this up. Let's see how we get on. We lean all day and some say they ain't productive. Could that depend upon the demon that you're stuck with? Cause right now, I see clearer than most. I sit here contented with this cheese on toast. I feel the pain of a third world famine. Said wait, we count them blessings and keep jamming. Tis him, scumbag, scum of the earth. His work was nil until he gained the skill of tongues. From 15 years young, straight to my gray back self. I stay top shelf material. Jerk chicken, jerk fish. Break away slave bliss. Generate G's and then be stashing with the Swiss. Fools can't see this. Under your pistols, a fist full of hip hop duns. I progressing in the flesh. Esoteric quotes, most frightening. Duffy took a hold of my hand while I was writing. Leg on me ting, Duffy, leg on me an. I summon up the power of Banana Clan. Witness the fitness. The Gruffin till live at. One hope, one quest. Witness the fitness. The Gruffin till live at. One hope, one quest. Witness the fitness. The Gruffin till live at. One hope, one quest. Witness the fitness. The profits and live at. One hope, one quest. Swigging that heat root juice. Now we dip and boots. Set them spirit them loose. Go ahead, go slash up the noose. We conclusive proof about the truth, the right. Cause whether we eat shy, or push bike, or travel kind of trash. Manifest that with oats and roots wrap. Manifest that, yeah. I do my zing way. Ain't nothing else I know. Gone up in the life with this ragged bone flow. Squeeze the pain from my belly and set my soul free. Travel over ocean, land and sea. Face enough stress and difficulty. Flung back from the brink. Why they kind of stink? We don't give a frig about what them fools think. Frig your network, our network will speak for itself. Proof of the trophy and the champion belt. Come sun, come rain, come hailstone pelt. Witness the fitness. The prophets and live at. One hope, one quest. Witness the fitness. The prophets and live at. One hope, one quest. Witness the fitness. The prophets and live at. One hope, one quest. Yeah. Okay guys, this is Donkey Kong, now finished. So let's have a quick pan over. So we've got the T-mold all in. And as you can see, it looks really, really nice. Smartened it right up compared to the yellow crack damaged T-mold that was there before. We've got the bottom painted. So that's nice. 
So we've got the new side art on. Obviously on both sides, like we've shown you before. So what I've really done to this game prior to doing these videos is I changed the instruction card. This the original one was actually really water damaged here. So this is new, uh, this is new, this is all ripped and damaged as well. We've got an original Nintendo joystick in there now, because when I bought it, the stick that was in it. Um, have I got it in the box? Yep. Let me show you. So this was what was in there. This Mickey Mouse joystick. So that's gone. So original Nintendo joystick, fully serviced. Um, New spring, uh, new spring retainer, all greased, micro switches cleaned, new dust plates, original buttons, high score kit in uh, high score safety kit installed. That's all up and running. Marquee light works. Again, that was changed when I bought it. New bulb went in, new starter. So yeah, we're all good. All up and running. All the volumes adjusted. All dusted over. So that is as much as I'm gonna do um, on this game. Um, so really happy with that. Oh, a new power cord. There is a new power cord on. The one that was on there is all taped up. So yeah, new power cord. Really, really happy about it to come out. So there we go, that is Donkey Kong, all done and ready to play. Cheers guys, thanks for watching and I shall catch you in soon for the next one.